story. You sure. were telling me that uh, you were present when Rich was grabbed. Right, myself, uh, Manic, and another person we were walking north on Main Street near Corner News when Rich's probation officer, I imagine that's who it was, uh, came up and began talking to Rich. And it seemed like a little bit of a lengthy conversation. I believe he was asking him about an incident that occurred Monday evening in Central Square in which some people entered the square and tried to attack someone. Some property was stolen. Uh, my property happened to be stolen. That was in the presence of Rich. Some of Rich's property was stolen. Um, and so his probation officer was talking to him. Myself and the others began doing some chalkings near there, pro peace messages. And at one point it seemed as though the probation officer was searching Rich. He, Rich was emptying his pockets for him and handing him uh, his, the contents of his pockets, which I believe was some chalk and some Robin Hood supplies. And some other officers were standing nearby, uh, pretty much like on, on standby. And it was Bruce Uhas. Um, I don't recall the other officers, it may have been Collier as well. And they told Rich that he was going into custody. Um, BOP, violation of probation. Uh, they allowed me to take some of his Robin Hood supplies so that they wouldn't have to unnecessarily go to the jail. They said that they were taking him directly to the jail. And presumably it's related to whether or not he used or displayed a weapon. I think that normally people would have uh, an ability to defend themselves and defend others in a certain way that people in Rich's situation cannot um, with probation and also being a felon. So I'm not sure how Can that comes into play. Can you elaborate on that? Um, well, I'm not sure how it, it directly comes into play with probation, but I know that felons are restricted in New Hampshire very vaguely of not being able to carry weapons. It's not clear what exactly weapons are, when something is a tool and when it becomes a weapon. Um, if you menace someone with a hammer, of course, it, it's a weapon. If you're doing construction with it, it's a tool. Uh, Rich, I'm going I'm to turn the camera so you're sure. not blind. Rich had a monopod with him, I believe. I didn't really get a good look at whatever Sorry, it was he had. I'm going to need that audio, so say that again. Okay. Rich was... I didn't get a good look at what it was that Rich was carrying. It appeared to be a monopod, and... He was carrying it along with, I believe, some chalk and, and a camera. At the uh, time he was picked up? No, 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 at the time of the incident in question. Um, and allegedly, I guess, based on the way he may have displayed or possessed this monopod, it's being alleged that's almost like a weapon, like a baton. Mm -hmm. um, so that was something that we are, uh, we're, we're not clear on yet. We are going to want to get more information about what exactly it is that they're charging that Rich did or uh, may have done. And uh, I was there for that incident, if it is the incident on Monday night that they're picking up relative to. Um, Rich was there. He dropped some items when people began charging the square. And uh, one of those items was a camera and keys and a cell phone. And he, had, he still stayed holding this monopod. And there was a few moments where people were attacking one of the individuals there and some of us were yelling for them to stop to not be attacking people just calm down leave people alone back away and uh, I'm gonna have to get the rest of this audio somewhere else because the okay. car is making it yeah. inaudible yeah rich uh, rich didn't I don't believe he ever made contact with anyone I don't think he even got close to anyone you can review the video and see exactly what is picked up I tried to get everything I tried to be away from the action as it was occurring so I could get a good clear shot of everything and uh, one of the people that it really initiated that violence was a man who ran up behind um, a local person who goes by Screw the Cat, and he did a haymaker to the back of his head. It was very violent to see someone do that to someone. And that's, that's such a, a cowardly, dishonorable act to do to someone. As, as horrible as violence is, hitting someone from behind is, is an extra level of despicable. Um, so after that, as that was occurring, and then people were running at the same person who had just been attacked, and additional people began attacking him. Um, Rich was holding the baton in a defensive posture, but he never, I don't, I don't believe if you check the video, you'll never see him lunging at anyone, you'll never see him swinging at anyone. Um, I don't believe he even raises the, the baton-like object, um, but the, I guess uh, that, that's obviously something to look into with the video. Um, so yeah, Rich probably got in trouble not for having threatened someone specifically, but just for having uh, a weapon-like object. I guess the allegation is that in his position of probation, or maybe as a felon, he is not permitted to 
use defensive tools in the same way that other people would be enabled. And it certainly was a defensive thing because he was not threatening anyone, he was not violent. And there were people that were yelling threats, yelling threats of shooting people, running into the square, running up from behind and hitting people. Um, so he was trying to de-escalate that situation. I myself was trying to de-escalate that situation. Fortunately, no one got injured as they were yesterday. There was a serious injury yesterday. Um, but this shows a sort of culture and pattern of violence here that's very disturbing, and it was the same actors in both events to a large extent. Uh, talk about a bit about the shirt that you're wearing. Is that in any way a suggestive, uh, violent type of shirt? <laughs> well, this shirt, for anyone who doesn't know, is from Church of the Sword, which is a religious um, sort of new spiritual movement church in Manchester. Sounds violent, and since mm -hmm. Rich is uh, being charged with violation of probation for carrying a weapon, I'm curious about you wearing a sword on your shirt. What, what does that mean? Well, I myself don't carry blades, um, but it says Ante um, Omnia Armari, which I believe stands for Before All Else Be Armed, which I think is a But great you're team. not. What would you call this? To me, that's being armed. I may have more recording devices on me as well, so I feel properly armed. Okay, so uh, it's Church of the Sword. It's not just about being armed um, with weapons, but being armed with tools like cameras? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like when there was violence occurring on, on Monday that I was present for, my main objective was to remove myself from that violence um, and document it, document it as best I could. When someone's trying to attack you, you can't get good video if they're right on top of you. You need to have that third perspective. And I think the more third third party perspectives we have out here in Keene, the safer it will be. Unfortunately, there were only so many on each night, but we were able to get good, clean shots of everyone's faces that were involved. We know who these actors were, and there will be follow-up and reporting on their actions and how inappropriate and irresponsible and criminal they were. All right, cool. Thank you. Mm-hmm.